Good morning, good afternoon and good evening my crazies. Um, my name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady and I'd like to welcome you all back to this year's 12 days of Christmas. So before we get started if you could do me a big fat favour, if you could hit the like, that's that thumbs up, the bell and make sure you click all. You will be notified of all of the crazy videos that I have up for offer this next coming few weeks and of course into next year right so uh, let's tell you a little bit about the 12 days of christmas on my 12 days of christmas series i like to show you a patterns that i've created patterns from other creators that i've had a go at and i've tested so i can tell you whether they are fun or, or something to run from um and we have a look at some other little bits and pieces that may or may not be Christmas related we will just have to wait and see what I can come up with right so right so now let's go and head over to today's episode I'll see you there shortly Hello and welcome back to day number four. Crikey, we are getting through these. It's getting too close. It's time. Is it time for another drink yet? <laughs> right. Talking of drinks, if a wine box is a little too much for you to carry around to your friends and family this year, then you could always go for. Oh dear, I haven't even sewn in the ends. It's an old one. <laughs> Need not say anymore. But you could go for a pair of a cheeky Santa pants. Now these Santa pants are actually big enough to hold two bottles of wine, or a bottle of wine and a posh candle, or whatever you feel like. Um, so these ones I made a couple of years ago now, and um, I had them hidden away, and I forgot to show them to you last year. So I thought, do you know what? I will bring them in and I will show you now. Now the problem is I don't have any wine to put in them. I suppose I could use bottles of juice. Nah, we'll just talk to you about the pattern. Right, so this pattern is a free download and it is from yarnspirations.com. I will pop a link in the description box and down below. And if possible, I will also do the link up here as well. But there's no guarantees on that now, is there? We all know what I'm like at forgetting stuff. Right, so with this one is a made with a, a DK yarn and the size hook to match. Now the pattern itself was really lovely and really easy to follow but what I do suggest is when you make it you don't go for a tight tension or if your tension is tight you go up a hook size um, because it needs to be able to stretch. Okay, so you can fit those uh, bottles of wine in. Now I love this pattern it is really really cute and I do end up putting candles in it the Yankee posh ones <laughs> um, I put those in here normally I'll have one on one side and then a bottle of wine on the other um, so that it looks decorative in the house I don't burn the candle or anything and I don't drink the wine I've got that now <laughs> right so that is the pattern for today yeah i seriously seriously i need to sew in the ends now the a white i used a, a glitter yarn for i cannot tell you what that one was though um and the red 
was uh, probably the papaya but to be honest if I made this again now of course I would be using the Signet Pato every day DK at £1.20 for 100 grams and you should easily be able to get two maybe even three of these out of one ball of yarn how cool is that and how many Christmas presents could you knock up in an afternoon um, to be honest now I can crochet a lot quicker I would think that I would be able to knock this up in an evening if not maybe even two now the pattern does call for red heart super saver yarn in a gold cherry red white and I believe black yes black um, and they are say saying to use a, a US size H8 or a five millimeter hook so to be honest if we're in if you're in the UK I would suggest a going up to an Aran weight yarn and not copying me on a DK um, because it will give you more room and for your items so if you're looking for a really a good a priced chunky a yarn I would go for the Signet Pato chunky yarn it is priced in at £1.30 over on the secret yarn stash so if you uh, jump down into the description box down below there is an affiliate link there that will take you through to our a gorgeous gorgeous team who will happily uh, pack up your pro um, your chosen yarn and send it to you as soon as possible but please remember if you are outside of the UK to uh, fire them off an email first to make sure that they're able to ship to your country because of course with the way postage costs are at the moment the cost it may outweigh the cost of the yarn basically and not make it worthwhile for you to order from them but if you're in the UK go for it go on use that affiliated link right that is it for me for today so I hope you enjoyed looking at the item that I showed you right I'm gonna head off now I will see you all really soon so if you can please stay in and definitely stay safe to half an hour everybody Time for a cheeky refill. There we go, darlings. Have a, a lovely Christmas. To all for now.